I just I find that I have quite small balls, but I have a quite a long dick. I've been called to have a grower. Like my dick seems right. We're jungle beats. We're jungle beats. Australia's plug to the weirdest cocks in the east. West. As anyway, in, as in roosters. We always have a conversation about XXX Tentacion and he released a remix with Joey Badass mm -hmm. and um, he's making an album. And we've talked about this briefly before. Why not turn the camera on? Because you guys are going to ask us to review his music when he comes out with more. Because you've realised, if you've been following us for a while, you've realised that we've followed, we've gone back to the beginning and we've done his SoundCloud albums, we've done 17, the we've Ice done- Hotel, we've gone through 95% of his music. Exactly. Like we've, we've gone through it all. And I'm actually grown to become quite a big fan and huge respect of his, his diverse taste in music. Uh, why well, should you repeat what you said before? You said what? He was the only artist, what did you say before? About 20 genres. Well, yeah, I'd say I've, every, every artist I've ever listened to that when he was his age, I've never heard someone of his age tackle as many genres as he has. No one. No one has done it like XXX has. And I, that doesn't make him a great artist, of course. I just think it makes him just different. That's why, I, that's a, like, I think a reason why his fame became so quickly, like why his soundcloud blew up so quickly, because he tackled so many genres. Like in one mixtape, I think he had like one of different, of one of different everything on the whole tape. He's just so diverse. And so now I'm like, I'm talking to Al and I'm talking to Ian in the background. Hey, do you, should we, what do you want to do? You want to review the, the remix? Do you want to, uh, what about the album that he's making? And you said, I don't want to review it. Purely because he's been accused of a lot of disgusting things, be it abuse, be it, be it rape, be it things very similar to that. But it's been, it's, it's got to the stage where there's like pages upon pages upon pages of accusations. But the thing is, none of it's been proven true. I mean, there's so much of it that you'd expect some of it to be true, if not all of it. But, but there's also elements of, especially what happens, everybody's getting exposed now. Yeah. You see all these celebrities are getting exposed for the things they've done in the past. And then, mm. but there's bound to be some false, false, uh, false accusations in the midst of it from people trying to take well, advantage. That's the thing, like, what's true, what's not? I feel like a part of it is just you as a human deciding. Because at the end of the day, if he's accused, it might not be true. If he's not accused, it could be true. Like, we just don't know. Mm. He knows, the people who did it know, but even if the judge decides it and they deem it true, we still don't know if it's actually true. Right. So I feel like we as ourselves make decisions based upon what we want to listen to. I purely don't want to listen to it right now because I feel like if it does come out, say we release this and then it comes out on the day that we release this video. Say we reviewed XSX new track and then the day we released that, it came out that he was a rapist. Mm. The video's out. People are going to go, oh, we support a rapist. Right. That's why I don't want to That's do not it. appropriate, of course. 100% exactly. agree. So until something comes out that's like XSX been cleared of everything, I will feel comfortable. He might have still done it. And if he has, fuck you. But if there is a chance that he's cleared of it and he didn't do it, I'll take that chance so because I think he's, he's worth putting The question is now, when what happens happens, when he get when he, allegations are, are figured out, if he's convicted of a serious crime, maybe goes to jail like Meek Mill did, um, do we review his music ever again? Should other, should other channels, should other media <sighs> companies cover it's him? It's hard because people do change as much, as, but it depends on how horrible thing you do. Like, if he's convicted of something really fucking terrible, I want to take off everything we've done for him. I want to take every video we've done down from our channel. So, mm. we, so nothing is supporting him whatsoever. Mm. But say if it's something that it's like, like, you know how like Chris Brown hit Rihanna? Obviously, that was a huge thing. Still, still was fucked up today. Like he did something hugely wrong. But over time, a lot of people have come to, you know, to respect or like Chris Brown again, because he might have changed or whatever. Like, I don't know. I don't know. They released a whole documentary about. Exactly. I haven't watched it, but for those that have and know anything about it, like, it shows that if he did change, did, do you reckon he's changed? I don't know enough about him to say that, but I know it definitely sheds some light on different perspectives that other people haven't considered. Mm. So I think that, like, if X got convicted of doing something which was like that, mm. I could be like, C could he change? Will he change? Give it time. Maybe. I feel like he could take. I, if he's convicted of anything, like that, I'm gonna take off everything. I'd want, I'd want to take everything out. And then if he came back, say he got released early for good behavior, whatever, whatever, I'd, I'd give him a second chance, depending how bad the crime he did. So at what point can we separate the music from the person? That's, well, that's our decision to make. We could, we could separate it at something he did that's quite small to someone, but could be massive to someone else, or 
Like I feel like case by case. I feel like something like rape would be big enough for me to like separate it. Like that's just that's just not something something you just tolerate. Mm, agreed. Mm-hmm. So if, if if it was that big and that came out, probably not. But if it, say if it was domestic or physical, mental abuse, whatever, I'd have to see on what scale that was to to figure out how I feel about that situation. Yeah. Everyone so yeah, would drink it for me. For now, we will not be reviewing any of his music until uh, we understand the ramp- mm-hmm. the. the the results of his actions. Yeah, and any other artist that has done it as well, same thing. So if you're requesting us to review someone that has, might be convicted of something or is waiting for something, there's a high chance, probably a big chance we won't do it. Because I don't want to support that. And as E beautifully stated before, there is so much music out there that I think it's worth skipping one artist to find someone out there that is a better role model and a better person that makes just as good music. What about a guy like Jay-Z? Jay-Z. Pusha T. Pusha Pusha T. Drugs. Both of them heavy in um, drug dealing. I feel pushing drugs is completely different though. Because that's like, I like grew up around. To me, like, depends on who you are. But if you're raised up in an, an environment where you have no money, or say, like, you, you, your family, like, is really rough or a rough environment, maybe you're forced into doing drug dealing. Or maybe, like, it becomes, like, a way of life for you. Like, it's so hard to escape it because you've been living that life for so long. Like, it's, it depends on the person. But the results of it can be just as serious. You can still damage lives just as uh, significantly. That is true. So I, I it's just in, it's a conversation. I don't know the answer. I just think it's and Jay Z. Something anything Jay Z's done. Jay Z's what he stabbed his brother. Mm-hmm. He um uh, cheated on his obviously his wife. But and a bunch of other things we don't know of. But I feel like all those things he's talked about hugely in his music. And he's addressed. Not, yeah. He is actually bad. His soul bear on yeah. four 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 and on previous reasons doubt. So I feel like that's reason enough for me to be like, look, I don't know if you've changed or if you're just saying this, but the fact that you've laid it all out on the table for me to hear. If it's true, then like I respect that, and I like this message because it makes me feel like that I can be open like this too. Great point. So and he's given back to the world immensely. Yeah. So I I got a lot of love for Jay Z. Sure, he fucks up. Everyone fucks up, but he does. It looks like that every time he fucks up, he does try and change for better. And he's paid it back. Mm-hmm. He's done. He's done so, right by it. Yeah. So you know, maybe say XXX is um maybe not done for rape, but done for abuse with someone, and he released a track explaining exactly what he did and how he fucked up and he did wrong. Who knows? Maybe not. Maybe he might change the next day. But the fact, I don't know. It's just you just don't know until it sort of happens. All right. Well, there you go. There's the answer. We will not be reviewing any of X's future music until we understand the ramifications of uh, his actions, and the court has been sorted out. Um, yeah. Even if he drops an album, so no point asking. This is what is what we're doing right now. Mm-hmm. If you support him at the moment. And you don't care about this sort of stuff. Honestly, just take a look, look up what he's done, and then think to yourself, is it worth? Because I don't think it is. All right, Jungle Beats. What do you think, eh? You're an impartial, objective. There was one sentence that he said that could be critiqued. What was that? There was one sentence that he said about the domestic abuse on how you said it depends on the scale. I imagine that some people would be like. It doesn't matter the level of domestic abuse. Yeah, of course, some people will say that. Yeah. That. Yep. Oh, yeah. I, I, I could probably didn't word well enough. I would meant like say like. Like he pushed her into a wall compared to like he beat the fuck out of her till she was passed out. Don't I meant like that sort of scale. I can still see people finding an issue with that. Yeah, well, yeah, you're right. People will find an issue with that. That's up to you guys. That's the only thing. That he's entitled to that. his opinion. Well, no, I I'm, I'm I'm believe. That's the only asking what like. Oh, out. Okay. I'm gonna leave. Like the one no, thing that stood yeah. out for me from that other people. Yeah. I know you, Alex. So I'm not gonna think twice about what. Yeah, you obviously. Know. You know what I mean? But I can imagine other people witnessing that, and thinking, "Wait, what, is, what does he mean by that?" Uh, well, basically. I just word it wrong, and if people will comment on that, then I will reply the way I yeah, reply right. Yeah, you clear now. it up. That's the thing with it, anything we do. Like even if I don't word it the right way we want to word it, when people comment on it, we just reply how we actually meant to say it. Mm-hmm. Do you want to do that? Oh, he just did it. Yeah, uh, yeah. All the cameras on. Yeah. Okay. No, I kept this rolling. Did you? Oh, I. Last night is in my cool place Without a soul and pure hate Insecure ache Couldn't love another at the same time Ice cold, see my lover through the grapevine Mystery, mystery, hate her 